there Wednesday Wonders. I'm Ranger Erin again and today we are wondering what is a full moon? So before we can get to that what is a full moon we have to figure out what lights up the moon? Well the moon doesn't light up itself. It's not like a big lantern in the sky and it's not like the sun. It doesn't make its own light source. What the moon does is reflect the light of the sun. So it is a big rock, round rock, that orbits around the earth. And when it faces the sun, it's gonna reflect the light of the sun back onto the earth. So when we have a full moon, it means that our sun, our earth, and our moon are all lined up perfectly. And that way the sun is hitting the, the face of the moon that is facing towards the earth. So we see that one side lit up completely. So this is one part of what we call a lunar phase. And that lunar phase is how that moon changes from a full moon when it's completely lit up to a new moon when it's completely dark. So again, when we have that full moon, we're all lined up sun, earth, moon. But when that moon is orbiting around the earth and we have that new moon, what happens is that we've got sun, moon, earth and that means that the side of the moon that's getting lit up is facing the sun and not facing the earth. So a lunar phase takes about 29 to 30 days and that's almost a month which is pretty cool. You can think about our months usually only have one full moon a month. So our last full moon uh, is November 30th. That's called the beaver moon and our next full moon is going to be on December 29th and that's gonna be called the cold moon. Tonight, if you choose to go outside and check out the moon, it's gonna look almost full, but it is gonna be missing a little sliver on the side. And each night, it's gonna get a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller until we reach that new moon. And this means that our moon is waning. It's getting smaller each night. Once we hit that new moon, it's gonna be getting a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger until we reach that uh, full moon, that cold moon in December. And that means that the moon is gonna be waxing at that point. It's gonna be growing bigger. The cool thing about our full moons is that they are some of our busiest nights. So you can imagine for nocturnal animals, sight might not be that important, but they're definitely gonna take advantage of all that extra light because on a full moon night, that sky is gonna be lit up and it's gonna be a little bit easier for all of those nocturnal animals to get around and find the things that they need. On the other hand, on those new moon nights, those are gonna be the darkest nights. Those are gonna be the best nights for going to spot stars, but they're gonna be the least busy nights for our nocturnal animals. For your outdoor activity, I'm gonna ask you to go out at night and go moon gazing. So if you're looking at a full moon, I want you to notice how big and how bright everything is lit up by that full moon. And if it's not a full moon, then I want you to try and notice what shape you're looking at. So do you see a little sliver of black on one end or the other end that makes it not a complete circle in the sky? And then if you're out on a night like me, like I am out tonight, so I tried to be out here on the full moon night. There is a full moon out here, but unfortunately there's also a snowstorm going on out here. So I can't really see the moon, but even with that cloud cover, it's still pretty bright out here. And I can kind of see that there's a, a bunch of owls that are being active in the area that are using that light to go hunting. For an indoor craft, we're gonna make a moving moon that's gonna be able to both wax and wane. You'll have that full moon on there and that new moon. So for this project, you're gonna need a whole sheet of black paper. I've already got all of my shapes cut out you're gonna need a couple of strips of black paper. One is gonna be almost as long as the long way and one is gonna be uh, just a little bit short of the short way. You're gonna need two circles, one black and one white. I actually made that black circle just a little bit bigger than the white circle, so you can see that. And I just traced a cup, the bottom of a cup, 
And then I used a couple of triangles on the ends for those pull tabs on either side. So like I said, I've already got everything cut out. For your black paper, what I want you to do is I want you to make one long strip down the middle and you're probably gonna need to ask for help from an adult because you're gonna need to use an X-Acto knife. So I've already got it cut out. Make sure you're cutting on top of something because that blade will go right through. So you're gonna have one long strip, but it's still gonna be connected to the paper. And then starting with our moon, we're gonna attach this sort of back brace to it that's going to keep it connected and I'm going to use tape for the whole project if you are a glue fan you are welcome to use glue so I'm just kind of making an X So now you can see I've got that X on the back of that moon. And I am gonna very carefully slide the short one behind while keeping that long one out on top. Now I've got that moon that can slide from side to side. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the pull tabs on either side. And then our last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cover up that moon just about in the center. I feel like that might be the center. So I'm gonna really carefully tape this in a loop. And that way, our moon can slide behind the shadow. And you're welcome to color on your moon to add all of the different decorations. Maybe you want to put the rabbit in the moon or the man in the moon, depending on what you see. But you can practice with that waning moon and that waxing moon. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you all next time.